Hello YouTube, um, this is Tegos24 here, and I'm going to show you today how to do some basic weapon modding in Battlefield 2. Alright, so, first time, I epically failed with Notepad++. Yeah, so, my favorite Notepad editor, I just found out, didn't want to play very nicely. So, first thing, make sure you have... Battlefield 2 copied and renamed. I'm just going to use modding in this example. You can rename it whatever you want. Then, you're going to go to objectserver.zip. That's the one we need. This is all of our object files. You go to weapons, and then handheld, and then... There it is. The predator, which is the rocket launcher we're going to modify. What we're going to do is take your tweaker file. We're just going to drag it onto the desktop. And change the properties so it's not read only anymore next what you're gonna do is you're just gonna edit it you can open it edit it whatever is is with your favorite text editor okay now we're to the part where I want to be you can ignore this because that's not important alright like I said before we're going to make it shoot in three round bursts single fire and completely automatic because who doesn't want an automatic rocket launcher so um, the fire rate in Battlefield 2 is kind of weird. Zero is single shot, one is three round burst, and two is fully auto. So we'll go object template dot fire dot add fire rate. Oh, by the way, these are all case sensitive. So you can also copy if you don't feel like typing, just so you don't screw anything up. Alright, next we're going to modify the ammo. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot, if you're going to do the rocket launcher, you have to do busy until button release. You have to set that to zero. That just allows it to go um, full auto. Next, we're going to do something really cool. Number of mags. We don't need to modify this unless you want to. Um, what I'm going to do is just modify the mag size. Um, anything in here that has a value of negative one is infinite. So yeah, we have a rocket launcher with infinite ammo. So, we just finished our Predator. So now the US rocket launcher is done. All that's left is to save it and put it back in the zip file. We're just going to overwrite it, let it compress and copy. And we're going to go test it out. Before we um, test out our rocket launcher, what I'm going to do is make a shortcut to make launching our modded copy of the game a lot easier so you can do new shortcut so you're gonna go to wherever you installed Battlefield 2 most people will be in program files if you're on 64-bit it will be program files x86 you want this one the Battlefield 2.exe that's the, um, the uh, game and outside of the quotes we're going to do plus restart. Make sure there's a space in between that, um, in between the quotes and the plus. We're going to do space plus mod path is mod slash modding. And you're going to give it a name. I'm just going to do it BF2 modded just for simplicity and click finish. And there you go. No, sir. Ten four.
Now that we know that our lo rocket launcher works, we are going to mod a vehicle. I do one of my newfound favorite vehicles is one of the helicopters. We're gonna do the American helicopter. It's the A H E underscore A H one Z. Yeah, long name for a helicopter. Again, standard procedure. Just pop it on your desktop. We're gonna modify it from there. As you can see, it has a lot more options. Yeah, I mean, let's see. It has the helicopter has sixteen hundred lines of settings. Yeah, it's a lot of settings. We're gonna do first is we're gonna modify the HP. See, right now it has about eight hundred seventy-five HP. Let's give it eight million. So, no, wait, forgot, properties, uncheck read only. Now we can give it 8 million. No commas, yeah. Yep, 8 million, 8 million HP, oh yeah. Um, I wouldn't mess with any of this, I did before, and it still got nowhere near killing it. But I give it about 800 million, so that's up to you. Again, if you're doing XP, um, if you're doing the H, the hit points, what you have to do the max hit points is as much as you can. The hit points is what it starts out with. So for it to have full health when it spawns, you have to have your hit points equal to your max hit points. So double check that. HP loss while upside down. I think that's self-explanatory. Same thing with the water and deep water. Um, this is the explosion stuff. This is basically when your helicopter blows up. Uh, you probably won't have to mess with this if you're messing with the HP. And then the wreck explosion is, you know, when it blows up and it's on it on the ground and then it blows up again. That's that. Next, we're going to go find the weapons. This is why I recommend Notepad++ because, as you can see, there's a lot of crap in between. If you do Control F, it works on Notepad, but it's not as good. So, um, I know the first weapon is the Hydra, the Hydra missile. It's going to come up once when it, that's the projectiles, and you're looking for the generic firearm. This is your vehicle's firearm. Wouldn't mess with these too much, but, um... Don't get confused with this fire rate and this fire rate. They are different. So it's going to be the standard. I'm going to make this automatic. Who doesn't want an automatic missile launcher? And again, bag size, save one. Does the United States have the best helicopter in the world? Or they will. And. Also. We're going to tweak the fire rate up a little bit. So if we go to the shotgun again. Fire routes per minute. We're going. So because of the fire component, two rounds per minute. So now we have specified our rounds per minute, which for any automatic weapon you need to specify. Um, most of the handheld weapons already have this specified, whether they're automatic or not. But a lot of vehicles are just based on they fire as fast as you can push the button. So let's see, 900 rounds a minute sounds pretty fine. We already gave it infinite ammo, and we already gave it a cool effect. So that's that for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. We're gonna pop it back in the zip. You know, hope if we get to the right folder, vehicles, air, helicopter, yeah. Give it a sec, it's gonna copy itself back. Alright, and now I'm gonna show you what that looks like.
But, who wouldn't want a helicopter that can also drop bombs? Or artillery? Yeah. So, the next part, and the final part for this video, we are going to give the helicopter artillery. Yeah. Um, so go to weapons, do stationary, and the U.S. artillery. Good. We're gonna just open it this time because we just got copy something. Kind of fail. And let's see, we need the projectile. Yep, that'll do it. We copy this projectile template. Just copy. Close this one. Um, should do it. All right. What we're going to do for this one is the flare launcher. Oh yeah, and I screwed up on my uh, deviation in the video, so I'll go back and change that later. But we're going to do we're going to change the flare launcher out because who needs flares when you have 8 million HP? Yeah, why not? So, let's see. We need to find the projectile. You want to change your projectile template? Um I would recommend upping the velocity to like 50 because the artillery is super heavy and doesn't go very far if you keep it at that. And uh, we're going to lower that quite a bit. Keep it at 3 so it's a little more concentrated. We're going to do 12 artillery shots. Infinite ammo, reload time. Oh, let's say 3 seconds. So 5. Burst size, we're going to do as much as our mag does so it's all in one burst. And we're good. Also, I want to fix my deviation. So, let's see. We need to go. Because for vehicles, I forgot it. For vehicles, it's different than shotguns. So, we're going to do that. Now, it'll look like an awesome kick butt helicopter. Lower that little bit. We're good. So we're gonna save your copter, and then I will show you. Uh, the next tutorial I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you how to change the single player bot count and the single player team ticket count. So yeah, that that'll be the next tutorial though, because I'm probably running out of time on this one. All right, so now that's done. We're gonna close this. Now we're done, and then we'll double click on this to start your launch. Um, any questions? Go ahead and leave them in the comment section below, or to the left, or wherever it is, wherever YouTube puts it at the time that you watch this. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, yeah, that's it.